Hi guys and welcome to part two of my Christmas in New York vlogs. That's the Empire State Building there. Um, this is not far away from our hotel. It was um, really near the Empire State Building and also Macy's, which is where we are now. So I just wanted to show you the outside and some of the window displays. I really would recommend going at Christmas time because of obviously all the beautiful lights and trees and decks. All the shops have wonderful um, window displays. So as you can see, the world's largest store, it says Macy's and it says Believe in Light. And it's got the cute little, little tiptoe the reindeer on the top there. Then this was the All American Christmas at Fox Square, as you can see, with the beautiful Christmas tree. So I just wanted to video a little bit as we were walking around, um, you know, just so you could get um, a, a feel of, of what it's like to go at Christmas time. As you can see, this is where they film The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. We didn't see him, <laughs> but I thought I would video the building. And then this is the Radio City Music Hall. You've probably heard of that. That's where we should have been seeing the Rockettes Christmas Spectacular show on Christmas Day. Really sad, sad that that's been cancelled due to COVID. And look at these beautiful candy canes and... Um, sweets that were um, obviously like chairs but uh, made to look like sweets as you can see so many nice um, pretty Christmas decorations I just wanted to try and film as much of it as I could morning guys so today it is Thursday 23rd of December I feel really tired today you can probably tell my eyes are looking a bit rough um, and today we are at the Westfield World Trade Centre shopping mall so I'll just give you a bit of a look round and we're going to go and get something to eat so we are hungry So there's just loads of shops. So we're going to have a look around some of the shops after we've had something to eat. There's a nice little Christmas scene down there. And um, and then today we are going to the 9/11 uh, Memorial Museum. So I'll show you all that as well. So they're all over there waiting for me. So we better go and get something to eat because I think everybody is hungry. So we have just found a cafe or coffee shop um, and uh, Richard's just getting the coffees and we've got these breakfast sandwiches and it was unbelievably expensive. I think it must be because we're in the Westfield World Trade uh, Centre. I mean, all the food's been fairly expensive in New York. It's definitely not a cheap place to eat. But this, come to, we've had a bottle of water, a fizzy orange, four breakfast little sandwiches as you can see here and two coffees and what did it come to Harvey? Just under 55. Just under 55 dollars. Unbelievable but hey ho. <laughs> you know what can you do? So yeah we're going to eat this and then where are we going next? It will it be time to go to the Memorial Museum? Yeah because we're booked for 11 so I think it'll be time to go there next so we'll see you in a bit. So here we are at Ground Zero. I think they're doing some kind of um, veteran thing over there. Not quite sure what's happening over there. Um, but yeah, here we are at Ground Zero. This is going to be sad. I think this is going to be really emotional. And in the museum especially. Wow. So this is where one of the towers stood. Um, which tower would this be then? This would be the South Tower. I, I take it these are all the names of people who yeah. died and go all the way around and I presume around the other tower as well. This is the North Tower. So, 
very, very emo emotional standing north. here. This is north. This is the north tower then that we're at at the minute. And obviously there's like the fountain down there in the water. The 9-11 Memorial Museum is over there, which we are going to go to shortly. Um, so yeah, I mean they've made this a nice, a nice space now. Um, fountains and what have you. It's a nice memorial, but um, yeah. Oh, somebody's put a flower in this one. Look. Very emotional. I think the museum will be especially as well. So it's Veterans Day apparently today in New York. So um, they were doing some kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, but I know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, sort of like ceremony, that's the word. Um, yeah, over there. So we better go and check out this because there's a massive queue. We have pre booked, so hopefully. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get in some time soon because there is a massive queue. So we are in the shorter queue because we have pre-booked. Definitely recommend pre-booking things if you are coming to New York. As you can see, it's really busy. So yeah, definitely better to pre-book things. Make sure you can get in and see what you want to do. So we are now in Macy's, um, we're going to go into the Gucci store, there's just a bit of a queue to get in, I'm going to go and price up some Gucci handbags, uh, you know, just see how the other half lives sort of thing. <laughs> The world famous Macy's. Oh, where do we go first? Oh, I don't want to lose them. <laughs> Gucci! 
Louis Vuitton, DKNY, basically, everything. Basically, lots of nice shops. Urban Outfitters now. Why is Urban Outfitters not as good as this at home? Uh, Harvey's loving it, Kaya's loving it, and I have to say I'm impressed as well. It's a lot better than the, what, any of the ones that we've been to at home. Um, we're done in Macy's now. We have bought a lot of baseball caps. Basically, every man and his dog <laughs> wanted us to get them a baseball cap. So we got a load of those, the New York Yankee baseball caps from um, Macy's. And like I say, we are just in Urban Outfitters now, looking around the home section in here. Seen quite a few nice bits that I like, but obviously it's getting them back home into, um, I like this mirror, I like this as well. Um, but yeah, obviously we've got a problem with getting them home, so bit of a no-no really but yeah very impressed with this shop loving the new uh, sunglasses there uh, Harvey yeah <laughs> it's definitely a vibe <laughs> so So we have now come for something to eat in Junior's, the most fabulous restaurant, it says. It's famous for its cheesecakes. Um, it's very busy, but we are really enjoying it so far. The wait is really, really nice. Um, so we'll have to give him a nice big fat tip, won't we? <laughs> the menu in here is absolutely uh, massive. There is basically anything you can want on here. Um, Kai has chosen already, she's going to have a tuna melt, I'm just completely blown away, I have no idea what to have, I don't know whether to have like a deli sandwich, but the desserts also look great, and I don't know whether I can eat sandwich and then um, like a sundae as well, I'm not quite sure, what do you think Richard? I'm not sure because I want the cheesecake. That's what this place is famous for, cheesecakes, and Richard loves cheesecakes, so but I like the sound of the ice cream sundaes as well. So anyway, we'll decide. I'll show you uh, when it comes what we've uh, what we've gone for. So the food has come. That is Kai's kind of tuna melt, not quite what we was expecting it to look like. <laughs> um, fries. Then me and Harvey have had the same. Haven't we, Harvey? Uh, what is it, Harvey? Grilled uh, chicken, 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 deluxe chicken deluxe sandwich with chips. Um, it's got chicken and bacon and cheese, I think. And then look at them for onion rings. Have you ever seen anything? They look absolutely gorgeous. And what's this, Richard? Pastrami burger. Pastrami and Swiss cheese burger. So we're going to tuck in now. Morning, guys. So today is another day. It is actually Christmas Eve and we have just left the hotel it is very early that's why as you can see it's still dark uh, we are walking now to ellen's stardust diner a uh, very famous diner if you haven't heard of it where they um, sing and dance the waiters and waitresses sing and dance on the tables and what have you and it gets very busy so um, it opens at seven what time is it now 7.16. Right, it's about quarter past seven, but it is about a 20 minute walk from our hotel to get there. So we're having a nice, very early morning walk to um, go to Ellen's. I just hope that the waiters and waitresses are singing at this time in the morning. It's on um, walking. Yeah. It's right, let me just cross the road. Still loads of, uh, well, quite a lot of traffic to say uh, it's quarter past seven in the morning. So yeah, same as I say, Christmas Eve. So today, after we have been to Ellen's, we are um, planning on going to uh, Bloomingdale's, Saks at Fifth Avenue, Tiffany's. We want to try and do all those three today. 
and then we are booked in for the Empire State Building at half past two this afternoon. We pre-booked that before we got here. So that's a plan for later. We wanted to book it at that time so we could see it like in the, um, what do you call it? Sunset. Yeah, like early evening. Um, yeah, so we wanted to see like the, the lights and the city lit up and what have you. So that's why we booked it for that time. We didn't want to go really late at night, but we wanted to be there for when it, it drops dark. So that's booked at half two. And then, um, oh, we've got a meal booked tonight at a restaurant called Versa, which I uh, found out about on one of the face group, <laughs> face group chats I'm in. Uh, about NYC so we've got that uh, evening meal booked tonight um, so yeah we're all enjoying it um, it's tiring um, it's busy uh, but yeah we're really enjoying it it is cold but bearable I mean if you've got the right sort of clothes then it's it's absolutely fine I would definitely recommend coming at Christmas time with all the lights and everything it really is special um, there's loads of decorations everywhere, loads of Christmas trees, loads of Christmas lights, all the shops and that decorated and yeah, so it is definitely um, a good time to come I think. So anyway, um, I'll vlog when we get to Ellen's so I can show you what that, that's like. dancers, creatives, and we all moved to the city, we packed up our bags with our hopes and our dreams, flew all the way to New York City with the big goals, the really big dream of serving you pancakes. <laughs> that is not true. Are you enjoying it, Ellen? Yes, very different. It's our yeah. kind of uh, place, isn't it, with the singing yeah. and the dancing. I doesn't want to be filmed, so just getting me and Harvey. <laughs> what you didn't know is I put your name down and you're doing the next number. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Mind you, we might clear out the whole place. That's yeah. probably. <laughs> So this is chocolate chip pancakes and it comes with syrup and whipped cream. Harvey's got bacon, egg, sausage, potato tots. We just got breakfast burrito with potato tots. What's in your breakfast burrito? Yeah. Scrambled egg. Oh. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, no, we have double Enjoy. <laughs> and Kai's got lots of toast. <laughs> Two of them were actually Harvey's, who thought that they were tires, but actually they did come with Harvey's breakfast, so we've got lots of toast. Yeah, what's in your breakfast for you? Toast, peacock. Um, Scrambled egg. Yeah. Rumble, turkey, sausage, peppers, onions, and shredded monster jack cheese. I haven't had pancakes yet while we're in New York, so I knew I'd got to have pancakes, so I'm going to chuck it. I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. Oh, but your love, 
with your smile so warm and your cheeks so sour. There is nothing for me but to love you. Just the way you look tonight. So we have just been to Ellen's Stardust Diner and it was really good, really enjoyed it, the singing and everything was fabulous and we are now going to go into that. We came the other night and filmed all the light show on the front of the building because uh, obviously uh, it was better at night so we came and uh, filmed that the other night so now we actually want to go and have a look around the shop we can't come to new york without going in sacks so that's what we're going to go and do now Plaza Hotel. Unfortunately, it's got all scaffolding around it. That's the Plaza Hotel. So, um, anybody who's a fan of Home Alone 2, Alone in New York, <laughs> that's a famous hotel where Kevin stays. Dior shop, it's really pretty. There's the apple shop, big uh, glass cube, and then you go downstairs to the actual store. It's a bit fancy. So, we are making our way now down to Bloomingdale's. So, we'll go and have a look around in there, and then I think we are going to go to Tiffany's. Unfortunately, the um, flagship store Tiffany's is being um, done up or renovated whatever um, so but they have opened up another store so we're going to go in that one uh, they have opened another one while the flagship store is being renovated so we can still go and have a look in Tiffany's so we are here at Bloomingdale's that's the side just waiting for the crossing this is the front I'm going to get it in from this angle this is the front with all the flags. I can't quite see it uh, that bit from this angle, really. But, yeah, so we're going to go into Bloomingdale's. Oh, wait a minute. Across, across the road. Just uh, concentrate. Oh, here we are. Bloomingdale's. 
is Louis Vuitton, Tiffany and Co. Let's have a look at the window displays. Oh, there's a dinosaur. <laughs> with the on its back. <laughs> We got oh, they're fancy. What we got here with some penguins with their winter hats and uh, coats on. Imagine. Oh, now I am. There we are. They all so I'm to let them put the mask on. They're still looking at the window displays. I'm going in. Men's store down there. Face mask signs everywhere. Oh, oh. would help. Oh, Jimmy Choo. No way. Oh, Chanel. All the usual ones. It's a very big Christmas ball ball. <laughs> How's this for a uh, Christmas table setting? <laughs> you want to recreate this at home? You could probably recreate these quite cheaply. I like that, that's nice. Oh, they've got so much nice tableware and glasses. Look at those. Not that I can buy anything. I don't think I could risk uh, taking those home, could I, in my suitcase? But it all does look really nice. So, yeah, like in Blooming Dales. We've just had a stop off at Starbucks. Me and Richard have got a flat white, Kai's got a frappuccino, Father's got a hot chocolate. And now we are just making our way over to Tiffany's. Oh, we've got one go. Um, yeah, so we're just making our way over now to Tiffany's. Same as I say, it is like the um, temporary store. Um, so, yeah, but still excited to go in there. Can't go to New York without her. Uh, a uh, trip to Tiffany's, can you? Look at the smell building. The bottle of perfume on, the lights. Loving that. Loving looking at all the window displays, um, especially in the pop shops. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Tiffany's is coming up. Oh. and um, the meadow hall me and harvey tried to take our drinks and she's like who drinks in here i was like oh <laughs> i mean it's understandable isn't it really with all the expensive clothes in there but you know we've got lids on so we weren't exactly going to spill anything but anyway here we are makeshift tiffany store how nice is this it's absolutely stunning. Four floors of Tiffany. Wow. Even the settees and the chairs are really posh. <laughs> So it had to be done. Richard has treated me to a Tiffany bracelet. Um, I'll show you when I get back to the hotel. So it's all wrapped up now. But that's my Christmas present. So happy Christmas, everyone. So we are back in Juniors. We couldn't fit a dessert in yesterday. So we are back in another Juniors, uh, another branch of it. And Kai has got a chocolate fudge brownie. Harvey has got 
with the chocolate fudge cake. Richard has got, is it raspberry swirl cheesecake? Yeah. And look at this. This is mine. This is strawberry shortcake. Um, yeah, look how big that is. <laughs> but they do, um, because they are famous for selling cheesecakes and they've got the bakery and the takeout bit, they have got boxes for you to take uh, stuff away in if you can't eat it all. So we might be doing that, I think. So we are here in the Empire State Building. We've already reserved tickets, so we just came straight in. Um, just not sure where we're going or what we're doing. But... Um, we are here. So we have been to the Empire State Building and now we are in a beautiful restaurant called Versa. So really nice place to spend Christmas Eve. We pre-booked it um, from home, uh, but we're actually uh, about an hour and a half before our reservation, uh, but we've been able to get in anyway. It's really quiet um, and it looks really nice. So I, can't, I don't know why it's quiet. I think it's because it's Christmas Eve, everybody's eating at home or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, it looks really nice. So I'll show you when we get the food. Ordered our food, our drinks have come. I've treated myself to a strawberry margarita, the first alcoholic drink of the holiday. Richard's had a lager and Harvey and Kai both had Coca-Cola. So cheers! So the food has arrived. I have got um, a burger with fingerling potatoes. Richard has got crispy chicken sandwich and fries. Harvey's got burger and fries. Kaya has got a margarita flatbread and a portion of fries. Wow, those fries get loads, don't you? So really looking forward to eating this. It oh, looks nice. really nice. So we have just finished our meal at Versa. It was really nice, highly recommend it. Wasn't too expensive, was it about comparable with everything else we've had? Yeah, uh, really nice. So yeah, recommend that if you are coming to NYC. So we are on the way back to the hotel now. Um, yeah, really tired. We've had a really good Christmas Eve, jam-packed day, fit loads in. Um, went to the Empire State Building and we went like we booked in at half past two and I think that was a really good time um, I think I'd probably recommend doing it at that time because you can see it all in the daylight but then if you're there till it starts going dark then you can see everything lit up as well so that was really nice I really enjoyed that um, did obviously some shopping as well um, been to Bloomingdale's and Saks have been to <laughs> forgot yeah and also um, Tiffany's yeah and I'm going back to the hotel now because we are really tired so I think that's where I'm going to end the vlog for today all we're doing now is going to go back to the hotel and get ready for bed um, get up early tomorrow for Christmas day um so yeah happy christmas guys i hope you have all had well by the time you've seen you see this you will have had christmas so i hope you've all had a fantastic christmas and i'll see you soon bye